Are you looking for the best smartwatches? In this video we will look at some of the 5 best smartwatches on the market. Before we get started with our video, we have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Starting at number 1, Apple Series 8 Watch. The Apple Watch is the best smartwatch money can buy. It has the best operating system, WatchOS, which is slick, with plenty of apps to help reduce the number of times you need to pull out your phone. The Series 8, 8 tenths, wired recommends, doesn't introduce a ton of new changes over the Series 7, but most notable is a skin temperature sensor that may or may not be helpful for tracking fertility and periods. It also features crash detection, which ensures the watch will contact emergency responders if you're unresponsive in a car accident. As usual, the health features are robust. There's a sensor to measure oxygen saturation in the blood, SPO2 helpful for athletes training at altitude or anyone with an underlying health condition as well as an FDA cleared electrocardiogram sensor. Unfortunately, battery life is still mediocre, you'll need to charge it the following morning after tracking your sleep. That said, Watch OS 9 adds a new low power mode that extends the battery life to two full days while sacrificing features such as the always on display or workout auto start. Our best Apple Watch guide has more details, and check out our Apple Watch accessories guide for extras. Number 2 Withings Scan Watch. Withings Scan Watch, 8 tenths, wired recommends, has nearly all the functions you want heart rate and sleep tracking plus basic notification alerts but it goes further with its FDA clearance for the blood oxygen and electrocardiogram measurements. The latter can be helpful to detect atrial fibrillation and irregular heartbeats, though you should always consult your physician if you're concerned about the results. This minimalist watch can go a whole month between charges who doesn't love that? The face is covered by sapphire glass, and the case is stainless steel, so it's durable and feels well built. What gives away its smart sensibilities is the OLED subdial, which is also one of the scan watch's biggest downsides. This screen is tiny. You'll be reading texts like the news ticker in Times Square, New York. It's better for quickly glancing at the date and your heart rate and step count. Number 3. Google Pixel Watch. After years of rumors, the Pixel Watch is finally here. Google's first smartwatch, 6 tenths, wired review, gets a lot of things right, performance is smooth, the screen is responsive and bright, and it's comfortable to wear. Best of all, it's gosh darn pretty. Seriously, I think it's the best looking smartwatch right now. It has NFC for making contactless payments, a speaker to answer phone calls, and there's electrocardiogram measurements plus sleep tracking if you need it. Sadly, there are a few quirks that hold it back. It lacks some core fitness features like SPO2 measurements and auto workout detection. It won't even get fall detection until early next year. Google has also gone the Apple route with a proprietary charger and straps. It doesn't even recharge quickly. The battery is lackluster too lasting only about a full day with sleep tracking. It also only works with Android phones. All this said, I still really like wearing the Pixel Watch. It's attractive and does the basics I care about the most pretty well. If you don't mind frequently dropping it on a charger, you'll be happy with this on your wrist. Number 4. Apple Watch Ultra Watch Frequently escaping to the hills every weekend If you want to bring an Apple Watch and don't mind the distracting pings, the Series 8 with Apple's new low power mode can extend the battery life through the weekend. However, if your activities often take you to remote areas in rough terrain, then it might be smart to pony up for the very expensive, but durable, and gigantic Apple Watch Ultra, 8 tenths, Wired recommends, a bigger watch means a bigger battery, it regularly lasted as close to two full days, and it can go for 60 hours with low power mode turned on. It's made of more durable titanium, and the case rises up to protect the edges of the display, which is also covered with scratch resistant sapphire crystal. There's even a guard around the digital crown and the side button on the right side. The Ultra has better mix to pick up your voice an 86 decibel siren to alert your position to anyone nearby, and a more precise GPS to better track your hikes, 
Plus help you find your way back with the new backtrack feature. The screen gets twice as bright as the Series 8 and it can survive twice the depth. 100 meters. There's even a spare customizable button on the left side, which you can use to trigger a custom workout. Number 5. Casio Pro Trek PRW61 Watch. I had this Casio on my wrist for more than a month and used one of its handful of functions every single day. Something I can't say for many smartwatches. I used the stopwatch to track my rest intervals between sets at the gym. I set my world time to New Delhi, India, the time zone my sister and parents are in. I've used the compass to navigate when I emerge from the subway in New York City and can't get my bearings. And I've learned to read the barometer, mostly just to see how cool it is to predict the weather without having to ask a voice assistant. I love how this watch looks. It's rugged and outdoorsy, but still relatively classy. Even better, it's incredibly comfortable to wear. Seriously, I never took it off in the month I tested it. It's been fine in the shower and through workouts. I love that it's made of biomass plastics from regenerative resources such as castor seeds and corn, and other raw materials. Don't let that worry you about durability. I've been through a move, dinging it on various walls, got paint on it, and yet it looks pristine. The dial is easy to read, the indices glow or you can press a button right below the case to light them all up for nighttime visibility. And you never need to recharge it. Casio's tough solar tech means it recharges itself via sunlight.